Hey guys, we are back on Sonic Revolution with Project SNT. Uh, Courtney, uh, you, you oh, you look so lovely today. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, how about if I just go ahead and turn the panel over to you now? Okay, sure. Uh, hi everybody. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here at this con. Um. So excited to meet everyone. Hi! Uh, I don't know if you... I'm playing some music currently. I don't know if you guys can hear it. If not, that's okay. Um, it's just for me. <laughs> okay. Hey! Hi! I see everybody in chat is, is saying their hellos. Okay. Uh, so, in case anybody in, can't hear the music, that's fine. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the music. Or, actually, how about now? Can you guys hear it now? We we always do these kind of uh, audio checks before stream. It, it's common. Uh, if you if you watch my streams on youtube.com slash project s and t, then you know that uh, we hear no music. Oh, well, no music? Okay. We can just, we can just not worry about it then. That's fine. Anyway, uh, still can't hear it. It's probably just for you. Okay, that's fine. We don't have to worry about it then. It can just be me and everyone else here. Howdy, howdy. Hello. All right, so, uh, since this is a, a pretty big convention and there's probably people here that won't really know who I am, I have decided to prepare a sort of, uh, slideshow, I guess? Not really a slideshow, it's just some cue cards that you guys can look at. They're nice and pretty. I decorated them. Um, and we can just, you know, get to know each other and, uh, and we'll be good friends and, and hang out and hopefully you will check out my, my YouTube channel, I guess. If you, if you want to see more of me and, and you're not completely annoyed by me. Okay. So, let's prepare that. Whoosh! Wahoo! Okay. All right, so. First off, my name is SNT. Yes, it is SNT. I will explain that name in just a second. First, I want to show you my full body. This this is a full ref sheet right here. Uh, I've got a really cool outfit that was actually inspired by the fans. Um, so, a couple, like last month, I did like a thing on Twitter where I was like, hey, redesign me. And a bunch of people did, and it was super inspiring. Um, so I took some of those ideas as inspiration and created this look. So I have, you know, some goggles, a jacket, I'm wearing a leotard, I've got a really cute fanny pack. And the logo on the back of my jacket is the Eggman Industries logo with a big ol' X on it. I will explain that in just a moment in probably the next slide digging the new look thank you i appreciate it this reference is beautiful thank you oh also uh it's probably good to know that uh the person that created this ah, the thing that you're looking at right now this live 2d model uh that was created by cutie t cat she is very 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 talented, and you guys should follow her too, because she's nice and talented, and we love her. All right, next slide. Here we go. All right, let's let's uh let me just <laughs> let let me uh explain my name real quick. S N T. It stands for Sonic Knuckles Tails. <laughs> yes, with an N. It it was kind of an accident. You see, uh, oh well. You see, Eggman kind of messed up. So, uh, the, the the file name for my supposed project was originally SKT, Sonic Knuckles Tales. But, uh, there were some glitches, and, well, it turned into an N. For some reason, Eggman is illiterate. <laughs> uh, well... Maybe. No, it was a glitch. I mean, 
Eggman's smart, but he's... He, he can be dumb, but he's also not that dumb. And that's not me defending him. Anyway, uh, age? I don't know! <laughs> Just the... I don't know. I, I feel... I, as old as I feel, I guess, I feel like a, a teenager, I suppose. Um, but my birthday, supposedly, according to Eggman, he, he counts my birthday as the day that he, uh, got the idea to create me. Not exactly the day that I, like, forced myself, but out of, out of my... Like, what is it, tube? Weird, I was in a giant tube, and I it, it exploded, and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so, that's April 10th. I don't know what year, but April 10th is when he decided to use his grandfather's research to create me, in a sense. <laughs> Age unknown. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's so, it's so... Original, do not steal. <laughs> um, I'm okay. Height, I am three feet eight inches, which apparently is slightly taller than Sonic. I have noticed. <laughs> if you, if you, if any of you have seen uh, a series called SNT Forces, you might have noticed. Uh, I am a bit taller than Sonic, and yeah, I, I I'm a, I'm lanky, I'm pretty lanky. <laughs> I'm a tall gal. Yeah, you're right. All right. And species? Race? I guess? Uh, I call myself a chimera. Or a chimera. However you want to pronounce it. But, uh, it, it, I am basically a combination of a hedgehog, a fox, and an echidna. Because, uh, well, well, let's get into, let's get into this, uh, background here. I'll read it for you. I'll read it for you. Lankin teeth and what are you calling me lanky kong rude <laughs> all right so let, let me read this background for you okay uh using his grandfather's research and the dna of his three greatest enemies dr eggman painstakingly worked to create me originally i was created to take down sonic and his friends but after learning the truth about how harmful how harmful Eggman Land would be to the world, I made my escape. Now I help Sonic and friends take him down with my knowledge of his face. So, yes, uh, I was created as sort of a a bio weapon per se to uh take down Sonic and the gang. Um, Eggman never really really told me the truth about all of it. I mean, why would he? Considering what happened when I found out the truth myself. So, also, fun fact about Eggman Land. I, I was super stoked about Eggman Land at first. Uh, I thought it was gonna be, like, a fun, happy place where everyone can be friends and stuff. And also, Eggman told me I was gonna be the mascot once that was built. But I guess... I guess that's not happening anymore. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Hmm, do you have a dark spine form? I have never... I, I mean, the secret rings are in a storybook, right? So, I... I don't know if I have a dark spine form. Not unless I get sucked into a storybook like Sonic did, apparently. That's what he told me. That he was trapped in a storybook for a little while. Oh, right. I think that's everything on this slide. Let's move on to the next one. I'll tell you about my powers. Because I got a few. Um, uh, so basically I've, e Eggman sort of, uh, cherry-picked the kind of powers that I, uh, would inherit from the DNA samples that he took from Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, obviously, for, for obvious reasons. So, yeah, I, I, I do have super speed and flight. I do have two tails, as you might have seen by the, uh, the reference sheet I did in... Inherit Tails' as Tails, which is kind of interesting, because that's sort of a unique trait. It's sort of, sort of a mutation that he has. It's really fascinating that Eggman found a way to make that an inheritable gene. Also, I have uh, decent hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. I'm not perfect at it, but uh, if I get in the scrap, I can, I can, I can do pretty well for myself. 
Also, uh, there is something odd about me that I have discovered. Uh, I have decided to, uh, call it the special aura. <laughs> uh, from what I have been told by a good friend of mine, his name is Rookie, uh, he has told me that every now and then I get this weird pinkish sparkly aura around me that, uh, it's got, it's got a weird, like, fuzzy feeling according to him like it can it can it, it really makes your brain act all weird i'm not sure why i have this but i have it <laughs> and i don't know how to control it it just happens at random it it, it is quite an interesting thing <laughs> yes the special aura special spe yeah lots lots of lots of specials in the chat <laughs> As as expected, as expected. So let me let me talk about my weaknesses. <laughs> Just in, I mean, if anybody that uh, if anybody that is you know planning to take me down is watching this, I suggest you look away. So it's not fair. Anyway, I am very easily distracted. I you people that have watched my streams might have noticed that I'm very easily distracted as sometimes something happens in chat and I'm like, wow, I don't want to pay attention to this instead of the video game. And then things happen and, um, yeah, and I miss things. It, it can be a little, a little upsetting, <laughs> but it's okay. I have, I'm learning to get better at that. Also, I have no sense of direction. Um, if I don't know exactly where I'm going, I will get lost very easily. <laughs> Uh, at the very least, I know my way around Eggman's base because I spent so much time there. Um, but if I don't, like, like if I'm out in the woods and I don't know exactly where to go, I will get lost. It's, um, it's very unfortunate. Also, uh, according to Amy, Amy specifically told me this, but I am, I am apparently smooth brain. Not sure what that means. And apparently, uh, from what chat has told me, smooth brain means that I, uh, am a bit not smart. <laughs> I mean, not, not in, like, a mean way. I mean, like, uh, I just, sometimes thinking is hard. <laughs> sometimes thinking is hard. Especially when I'm, like, trying, like, focusing on something and, and my brain just stops working. <laughs> It happens to the best of us. Um, yeah, I, it, it happens to the best of us, but I do, I, I do at least manage it a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, I think everyone has that moment. Yeah, yeah, I, I've, I've heard that it's kind of a common term. Amy just likes to use it often for me. I think she just does it be in, in like a loving sense. I think she just likes to poke fun at me because you know we're such good friends, and you know sometimes friends poke fun at each other, and and uh, and uh, yeah. S and T is cereal soup. Uh, why would it be soup? <laughs> Isn't it just cereal? Is this one of these smooth brain things? Are you trying to trick me? Are you trying to trick me? I like your voice. It's very sweet. Aww, that's so nice. It's so nice of you to say. I'm I'm very flattered. <laughs> um. Well, let's move on. I guess. S and T. Can you beat Goku? I've never met Goku, so I have no clue. I have no clue if I can beat. That, that person. All right, moving on. Let's talk about my favorite things and my least favorite things. I like nature walks, as long as I know where I'm going, of course. Um, they're very nice and soothing. I like to go to, you know, little like par parks with like pockets of nature and it's quiet. Oh, I can hear like the birds and the grass rustling in the wind. Very zen. How about Batman? I've never met Batman either, and so I don't know. 
I don't know why I would fight these people, though. I don't... I don't know why I would fight these people. <laughs> I also like adventure games! I... I, I really like point-and-click adventure games. Um, uh, role-playing games. Currently, I'm playing Metopia, and Metopia has been... It's been a lot of fun. Um, especially adding all my friends in. Um, and seeing how they interact. And the game itself is also really fun. It's got a really good, like, really cute story with a lot of cute characters. Um, and some of my favorite foods include smoothies. I like smoothies a lot. A nice, uh, <laughs> a nice fruit smoothie is always really good. Um, boba tea. I really like milk tea with boba in it. It's a nice treat. It's like, it's like a snack and a drink in one. You've got, like, the drink, you got, like, the tea, and then you got the, the chewy boba that you, like, chew on, and, and it's good. It's fun. And I like cheesecake. Cheesecake is my favorite dessert. It's got everything you want. It's fluffy, it's cheesy, it's, well, not cheesy in, like, the savory way, like, you know, like, how cream cheese is. You guys know what cheesecake is. What am I talking about? Why should I why should I explain cheesecake to you? It's so it's such a universal food. Is boba why do people keep asking me if foods are soup? What it's it's a drink! Boba is a drink! What is wrong with you people? Oreo cheesecake, that sounds delicious! Also, I like Magical Girl anime. I, I've been watching a lot of anime in my spare time. I really like... Let's see. My favorite Magical Girl anime is probably Tokyo Mew Mew. I'm... I heard there was gonna be, like, a reboot. Like a, like a new series. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a retelling or... Or just, like, a, a new... New show? But there's gonna be a new Tokyo Mew Mew next year, hopefully. And I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be so fun! Okay. Have you watched Little Witch Academia? I've seen that show! It's really cute! It's, all the characters are really cute, too. And, alright! Now that we're... <laughs> is Smoothie a chunky soup? Ah! Why? s and what's your favorite anime? Um... Uh... Well, it's really hard to tell because I've got a lot of favorites in terms of, like, why I like them. Uh, hmm. I'll have to think about that one. For now, I'm gonna move on to my least favorite things. Uh, just... Just, uh... Don't, don't, don't use this against me, please. First off, I don't like spicy food. I can't handle it. Um, like some spice, some spice is okay. Some spice, like, like if it enhances the food, it's good. It's fine. But, like, if it's, like, extra spicy with extra spice and peppers and spice and spice, no, I can't. I can't do it. It's too much. It's too much. Get the spice. <laughs> Also, I don't like horror. Like, horror movies and horror games. Can't handle it. Can't handle that either. I am... I am El Baby. <laughs> I am Little Baby. I cannot handle being screamed at, or, like, the suspense, or seeing people get ripped apart. No. No, don't like it. Don't like it. Not, not a fan. Not into it. So, I don't think I'll be playing a lot of scary games. Maybe I'll play, like, horror RPGs, because there are a few that I enjoy, like, um, there, there's one, there's one called Yuma Nikki. It, it's not really a horror game, it's more like an exploration game. Um, um and... There's another one I kind of want to play on stream called Owl Oni. Uh, that one looks kind of scary, but also kind of silly too because the monster looks really silly. So maybe I'll be okay with it. Have you ever played 
Doki Doki Literature Club. I've heard of that game. I don't want to play it. Don't want to play it. Um, hate horror movies, but I love horror games and stories. There, it definitely, there are definitely differences in the medium. Um, and some games take better advantage of it than others. Um, but yeah. Horror in general, not interested. Also, big crowds. Uh, especially recently? <laughs> uh, like, like really big crowds, like, like you're sardine together, not into it, no. If it's like there's a, there's a, a good amount of people in the area and we're not too close together, then I'm fine, but if it's like like a subway where everyone's like squished together not interested <laughs> i do not like that C especially because like i got a lot of floof especially with my tails i feel like if i'm in a situation like that i'm just in the way and i get really embarrassed and I'm, i don't want people to like trip over me and you know it, it, it can, there's a lot of negatives to being in a big, big crowd that I'm just not interested in. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to break the fourth wall just a little bit. Break the fourth wall. This is me <laughs> from like. Ten years ago. Oh, uh, like, not more than- actually, more than ten. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah, I- I'm an OC that's been around for quite some time. Um, if you guys actually watch, uh, the- the channel that I am a part of, there- there's a series where my creator talks about some stories that she wrote as a child <laughs> with me in them. And it includes lots of old art and lots of bad writing. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Totally, totally fun. All right. I think I have one more slide. Tag time! Yay! So these are the tags that I have been using for uh, my streams that I do on youtube.com slash user slash project snt uh snt live is basically the name of what i'm doing here <laughs> um and uh if people uh, lots of people like to do fan art so i created an art tag that people like to use that people are free to use snt art and also people like to make memes <laughs> there's been a few memes um <laughs> They're usually pretty silly. Um, I mean, but most memes are. But, hashtag SMT meme, that is what I have decided to make. And uh, I've been playing around with a fan name, because, like, you know, a lot of VTubers, they have, like, names for their fans and stuff. You know, like, like uh, if you guys watch any of, like, Hololive or anything, um... Callie, Mori Calliope, uses Deadbeats as uh, her her fans' names. So I have decided on the name Special Agents, because it, it's sort of a, a reference to Sonic Forces, which is one of the main things that I'm uh, a part of, I suppose, in, in S&T Forces, at least. And, you know, special because of the special aura. I think it would I think it's just a cute little little name that people can take if they want. I'm still playing around with it. People seem to I'm looking at the chat and people seems to people seems to wow. People seem to really, really like the name. So if you guys want, I can keep it. So I wanna be a special agent too. Well, if you wanna be a special agent, gotta watch the streams and support me. On youtube.com slash user slash project SNT. Sounds fine to me. Yeah. It was the first thing that came to mind. And I, I, I don't know. I just kind of liked it. Please keep it. Okay. I will keep it. I mean, 
Hold up, you're a chimera. Shouldn't you be a lioness with goat horns and a snake tail? Chimera doesn't necessarily refer to one specific animal. Chimera is just a, a mixture of animals. That's what a chimera really is. It's a mixture of different animals. Like a, like a, a liger is a chimera. And yeah. So that's that's the kind of the kind of animal that I've decided to call myself because a hedge fox idna sounds silly. It just sounds silly. So that's what I'm gonna be calling myself, I guess. A chimera. It's much much easier. Any thoughts on My Hero Academia? My Hero Academia is a lot of fun. Um, I've been keeping up with the new the new season. New seasons uh, it's a little dull so far, but, uh, the plot that was introduced is pretty good. Also, that episode with Bakugo recently, insane. Love it. Like, for a while, I was just like, what? this this is kind of dull. Why am I watching it again? And then that episode happened, and I was like, oh, that's why I'm watching this. <laughs> because it can get really good. All right, I think that's all my slides. Um, so does anybody have any questions? I'll just I'll just switch back here. Does anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask me? The floor is open. What exactly do you do on your channel? There is a multitude of things that are on that channel. First off, I live stream uh, every Thursday, uh, just about every Thursday, unless I cancel. Which it can happen sometimes, but I've had a pretty good track record. Um, recently we did a karaoke stream on the channel, and it, it was a lot of fun. Um, though there were some flubs every now and then, but that's okay. That's what happens when we do things live. It, it happens. Um, there's also a few series on that channel. There's Sylveon Trolls. Uh, that one seems to be pretty popular, too. It's about a Sylveon that, that roasts people and Pokemon and and comments just about anything she can get her hands on there was a karaoke stream yeah it happened last week and last Saturday it was like the 12th yeah the 12th and it was a lot of fun sang a lot of Sonic songs I had a pool party there was bubbles and sparkles and and spotlights and and so much fun it's ketchup a smoothie no it's ketchup a smoothie and ketchup are two di totally different things i think you're getting your your uh your categories fixed up especially for food who is your favorite character in my hero academia um this is gonna sound a little a little bad. My favorite character in My Hero Academia is Toka. I'm s I know she's a villain. I know she's a villain, but she's so interesting. She's so interesting. She's such an interesting character, and I want to know more about her. Um. And also, uh, uh, Uraraka is is really cute as well. She's very precious. An absolutely precious character. Uh, water break! Ah, all right. What do you think of Friday Night Funkin'? I have played Friday Night Funkin' in my spare time, and it is very addictive. I'm not good at it, though. I'm not sure if I will ever play it on stream. I am contemplating it but i have other things that i want to do as well and they may take priority what is your opinion on sylveon she is quite the interesting character um i have seen a few of the things that she does uh she's very sassy very very sassy Have you met the Tails doll? Ah, actually, when I was living with Eggman, um, he had this basement. He had a basement that I sometimes like to sneak into because I was, was semi-rebellious 
and like to go places that uh, that were off limits. Um, so I went down in the basement once, um, and he was there. Tails doll was in the basement, but he wasn't on. He was just kind of sitting there, just laying there. It was kind of scary. I, I, I don't, I don't know if I ever want to go in the basement again. Um, cause that, that was scary enough. Do you like jumping dimensions and hanging out with Maria and the crew? I love it. I haven't been able to do it in a while, but, uh, whenever we played Among Us in, whenever I played Among Us in, uh, Maria's dimension, it was always a lot of fun. Um, but recently I've been a little busy with these streams. I... I love watching Maria's streams, though, and I would love to, like, do some dimension hopping to hang out with her every now and then. Uh, especially when we're streaming. I'd love to do a collab with her at some point. What are your thoughts on the Sonic Forces Q&A? Oh, you mean the one that I was in? Yeah, that was a lot of fun to be a part of, even though I was only there for like a minute. Um, yeah, it was it was fun times. And I watched the rest of it too. I saw Nicole was on there too, a couple other people. It was, it was quite, it was great. Pheasant T, how are you? Did you play Smash Brothers? If so, who's your favorite character? I don't play much, I don't, Played too much Smash Brothers lately. Uh, I played a lot of Melee um, when I was living at Eggman's because uh, Eggman Eggman likes to hog all the new consoles because um, because he's he's a little selfish like that. But uh, I played a lot of Melee and I liked playing as Pichu. <laughs> I know that's a very silly pick, but I just liked playing as Pichu. He Pichu is very cute, especially the goggles, Pichu. Ha well, you see you see the bias here. Um, he has a GameCube? Yeah, an old one. It was covered in dust. And I, I pulled it out and started playing with it. And I played a lot of Melee by myself. Oh, uh, Metal Sonic tried to play with me one time. Or I, I at least invited him to play Melee with me. He didn't really try. I don't think he really understands fun or games he just kind of occasionally pressed a button to just to humor me yeah metal sonic isn't really uh interested in in friendship and bonding and all that <laughs> do you wear those goggles sometimes yeah i i uh plop them down under a uh, plop them in front of my eyes whenever i dimension hop to prevent my eyes, because once I, uh, it, it, I, I tried dimension hopping with my eyes open, and I got, I got a bug in my eye. It was uncomfortable. Uh, so now I wear goggles to prevent that, and that way I don't have to close my eyes whenever I'm dimension hopping. It's just more convenient that way. Speaking of video game consoles, do you own any for yourself? I own a Switch! I own a Nintendo Switch! Uh, and I've been having a lot of fun playing on it. Been playing a lot of Miitopia, as people would, uh, see on my channel. I am playing Miitopia. Currently, I'm in the Realm of the Fae. Uh, and we just got our fourth party member, and it's it's been kind of crazy. I, I love the game a lot, and I am... Thinking about buying Poke the new Pokemon Snap, definitely gonna be playing that at some point. So, yeah. Do you think that Nicole is always sus in Among Us? I mean, that that is kind of the meme, isn't it? Like, rule number one, Nicole's always sus. But, like, honestly, Nicole is not as often the imposter as other people. <laughs> like, she she always... She just kind of she just kind of jokes around when she's when when she's playing Among Us, um, and you know we always we always give her flack about like that whole 
I was on my phone incident. Um, but honestly, Nicole isn't always the imposter, and, and very often she's not. Um, I mean, it, she just acts sus. She's not always, like, actually sus, but you know. Jet is the sus one. You're, you're right. Jet is very scary when he's imposter. Have you heard of Crash Bandicoot? I have heard of Crash Bandicoot. I have never played any of the games, though. They look very hard. Very hard. I have not played new Pokemon Snap yet. I haven't gotten a chance to play it. I do want to play it, though, because the original Pokemon Snap was a lot of fun. I played that on Eggman's old Nintendo 64. Why, why won't you teach Metal Sonic the fun song from Spongebob to help him learn to be more fun? I feel like that wouldn't help. <laughs> so, I don't know, Metal Sonic doesn't really... He's not really programmed to know much about, like, being a person. A person? <laughs> if, if, if that's, if that's how that, uh, how you explain, how do I explain it? Metal Sonic just doesn't have that much of a personality besides, I'm, I must be better than Sonic. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of his thing. He doesn't really know much about friendship or he he can't really comprehend it that that's what i'm trying to say he can't really comprehend it wait eggman owns nintendo systems yeah he's kind of a traitor <laughs> i i mean sega and nintendo are good buddies now that's all in the past you know oh was was there a little bit of lag and everything's fine now okay Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> I don't think that would work either. He'd have to get a voice box installed so that he can sing along with you. Yeah, he doesn't talk much. Or, I don't think he really can. Any advice for young YouTubers? Uh, just make whatever you want. That, that's, that's like the main goal here like it, if you if you want to like be on youtube uh you shouldn't worry about like how many subscribers you have or how popular you are if you want to do something on youtube just do it just make whatever you want and as long as you're passionate about it as long as you're really into what you're doing people people will take notice of it that that's the best advice i can get i can give i think <laughs> SMT, do you like surfing? I would love to try surfing. Um, I would love to try surfing in the Olympics as well. I participating in in the Olympics would be really interesting. Um, I hope I get to do that at some point. It'd be, I think, it'd be fun. Have you met Blaze or been to the Soul Dimension before? I haven't met. Well, I've never been in the Soul Dimension, no. Um, have I met Blaze? I don't think so. I don't think we've passed by each other in in dimensional travelings. Uh, no, I don't think I've personally, formally met Blaze. She's kind of been out of my reach for a while. She is a princess after all. She is very busy. What do you think of Omega? Like, both of you hate Eggman. Omega seems... Like, he, he's very big and scary. But he seems... Caring for his friends. Like, unlike Metal Sonic, who just doesn't understand what friendship is, Omega seems to understand what friendship is. And I think that's very sweet. It's very surprising that Eggman actually put something like that in a robot like Omega. Hmm. It's very odd. Eggman makes weird decisions with his creations, like, you know, me! For for some reason, he decided that uh, he didn't really mess with my personality at all to, like, 
He didn't try to brainwash me or anything. I'd be surprised if, like, he'd never tried to brainwash me. But if he ever does, I'm going to kick his butt before he does it. I'm going to kick his butt. Have you ever gone super or hyper? I have gone super before. Not hyper, though. Going super is really interesting. Um, I can't, though, I can't tell if it's a memory or something that was erased from the universe. That's the weird thing with me. I, there's, there's some, something weird with my universe specifically, and I, I, I can't really pinpoint why things happen and why things don't happen and why things happen and then don't happen anymore. It's hard to explain. Have you played Kingdom Hearts? I have not played Kingdom Hearts, though it does seem like a really cute series. Um, very complicated with its lore, though. There, there, I've heard it, it's quite unusual. Especially with, like, Xanort and not Xanort and <laughs> there's like a bunch of Xanorts and half Xanorts. I don't really understand. I think you might be remembering an alternate universe. How though? Shouldn't the universes be completely separate? Unless there's like unless there's like a Venn diagram situation where it's just overlapping at random. It's so strange. Now it's time for a water break! What is your favorite Pokemon? I like Mew. Mew is cute. What do you look like in your super state? Well, I don't, I don't really have a picture. I don't really have a picture of it, but I think you could probably find something in, uh, on, on one of my videos, or on one of the videos on the YouTube channel. All you need to know about Kingdom Hearts is that every character is either Xanort or Sora. <laughs> I see. That's odd. Why was the Amy Rose from your dimension kind of scary? Uh, that's a good question. A lot of, a lot of people in my dimension are completely different from other versions of themselves in other dimensions. Amy especially. Amy is very abrasive in my universe. She's abrasive, she can be cranky, um, and her face gets red a lot. And I don't know why. I hope she doesn't have, like, fevers or anything. Hmm. Weird. It would be awesome to actually hold a water bottle whenever she says water break. I could totally throw something like that together at some point. Not right now, because, you know, it's con time. We're having con times. How's Rookie? I... I haven't talked to Rookie in, in a while, but last I heard he was doing okay. He was helping uh, rebuild everything in his dimension. I have heard from Maria that he has a twin brother, but I've never met him. I've never met him personally, at least. I think he was part of the, uh... He was part of the, uh, Ask Sonic Heroes Sonic Forces bit, but I never... I didn't, like, personally talk to him and get to know him. He just kind of like, uh, put me put me on like a, a intercom, and was like, "Okay, wait your turn." Do you think something's going to happen to you in this stream? That's ominous. What do you mean? Like bad? Like bad? Ominous or or like like something bad or something good or something. I mean, I'm having a good time right now. I'm meeting a lot of new people. Hi, new people! Have you ever been a doctor like Dr. Mario? Oh, goodness, no. 
I don't even know if I could be be a doctor. I'm so airheaded. I'd be I'd be so worried that I get so distracted that I, that my patient just like gets sick. SMT, can you please say ooh woo? I guess I just did, huh? SMT, are you doing okay? I'm I guess I'm doing okay. Why you ask? Being a doctor is hard. Uh, it looks hard. It definitely looks hard. Hmm. Water break! <laughs> have you ever played Genshin Impact? I have not. I'm not really interested in gacha-based games. I don't know, they seem kind of predatory. Do you have a favorite Hamtaro character? Ooh, this is an interesting question. Um, probably Bijou. Bijou is very adorable, and I love her. Hmm. When you say smooth brain, you don't show it when it comes to cooking. Have you ever cooked before? Uh, I have helped in the kitchen. See, like, I, I help vanilla in the kitchen sometimes. Um, as long as I have a set recipe and I don't, uh, overthink it, I do pretty well in the kitchen. Um, I've never, well, I have tried baking by myself before and I think I did okay. I made some pretty, pretty good cookies once. So how's the chow garden going? Huh. I I haven't I haven't I haven't gone back to it after the incident. The incident where the universe reset and they were unborn. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was a dark day. It was quite a dark day, but time marches on, I guess. <laughs> SMT, have you ever been able to meet the silver of your universe? I have not. I haven't gotten a chance to. I met the silver of the Sonic Forces universe. He seemed pretty fun. He he was he was quite nice. Very uh very reliable too. But no, I have never met the silver of my universe. I need another water break. <laughs> Rookie the Chow shall live on in our hearts. Yeah, I feel so bad because I named him after my friend. Uh, it, it was it was quite a dark day, huh? But it's okay. He lives on in our hearts and in the stream, bud. Hmm, what time is it? Oh, uh, let's see. I... I do have a bit extra time, so I can, uh, I do, I have a choice to stay just a little bit longer. So, I think, I think that, oh no, not again. This happened last, <laughs> this happened Thursday. No, don't turn me into a me again. I'm in
I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. Can anybody see me? So, um... Uh, hang on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Something isn't working here. Oh. Wait, I know what's happening. Now I know. Now I know what to do. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I, I just did a little oopsie. Just pretend it's all part of the plan. Woo! It's all part of the plan. Okay. All right. I have found my way back to this dimension. All right, can anybody see me? I hope nothing's weird. Uh, hello? Anybody? Hmm. Hang on. Stream's catching up. Hello? Hello? Oh, gosh. Oh, you see me? Great! Now we can get back to work. Okay, uh, anybody else have any questions? For Why is everyone freaking out? Why is everyone freaking out? Is, is something wrong? Uh... Hmm... Look in the mirror. I don't have a mirror with me. You are 3D now. Uh... Oh! Okay. I... I see. Something... Something weird is happening here. Uh... Yeah, I, I definitely look different. <laughs> that, that's for sure. Uh, um, hmm. Your hair got longer, I, it did? Blah, 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 blah. Hmm, strange. It's time to panic. Uh, I mean, this is fine. It's just different. Oh, my fingers. Oh, this is weird. Uh, huh. Well, this is definitely different, but I don't think this is a bad thing. You see legs. <gasps> My legs! My legs. SMT has gone 3D. It's time for anarchy. No! No anarchy, please! No anarchy! No anarchy necessary. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. No, don't panic. No, this is not the time to panic, okay? Not the time to panic. Everything's fine. I'm just different, is all. I can work with this. Yeah. Oh no, she has fingers now. I mean, I've always had fingers. It just... Never to this detail. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel... Hmm... Uh... I mean, the same. Just a little more... Real. This is so odd. I kinda... I mean, it's not a bad feeling, at least. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a bad feeling. It's just different. I am gonna faint. Don't faint! Don't faint! It's fine! It's fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! Everything is fine. Don't, don't worry. Everything's fine. Ah, awesome gloves. Oh, thank you. I like them too. 
S and T gone live action. I mean, maybe not live action, just three D. She turned on Minecraft shaders. <gasps> I'm HD now. <laughs> Poke the screen. Okay. Uh, hang on. But but but. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Do you have any new adventures you plan to have in the near future? Uh, well, I don't have anything too big planned. Um, this is definitely an adventure in itself. <laughs> S&T with RTX on. Your graphics cards can't handle me. Call the doctor 911. No, no doctors. We don't need doctors. Essence, you look nice like this. Oh, you think so? You, this isn't weird? You guys don't think it's weird, right? It's just different. Who do you enjoy spending the most time with? Oh, uh, well. I've been hanging out with Amy a lot, and she is definitely pretty nice to be around with. She's very, like, when she's not, like, cranky, she is very, she she has her moments where she's very sweet. I also like hanging out with Maria, because she's, she's a good friend. Doesn't he hear not weird? I find it special. Oh, there it goes. There's the, there's the joke. There's the joke! We got jokes! Jokes! My hands! Yay! <laughs> we made too many soup jokes and now she's gonna smite us! I'm... I'm coming for you. Give me your memes! They're mine now! <laughs> S and T has no teeth. What are you talking about? They're right here. Ah, uh, I I got a, a a little bit of a buck tooth. Hmm. Ah. Uh, so this is what plot armor does. <laughs> What's your dimension Sonic like? He is passionate. And very loud. What? Passionate. <laughs> 3D S and T is coming for your kneecaps. Your kneecaps are mine. Hand them over. That definitely is a really great 3DP model. Oh, thanks. Um, I'll have to... When I start using this in in streams... By the way, I will be streaming like this every now and then. Just not often. Not often, just whenever I want. Just to... I'm, I'm breaking the fourth wall again. But whenever, whenever I feel like streaming like this, I will... Uh, I will credit <laughs> the person that made the 3D model. Um, but yes, they did a very, very good job. Also, I can use this in, in VR chat. So whenever I decide to play VR chat, I've got this model in there too. I, I've been planning this for a while, actually. <laughs> yes, it was all one big plan. It, this wasn't an accident. I've tricked you all. Yes. So I've been planning this for a couple months. So I'll I'll be real with you. I've been planning this for a couple months, and and um, when the idea of Sonic Revolution came around, I was like, well, I have the perfect idea. Here it is.
great time to reveal it. Yeah, I... I, I, I've been really excited to reveal this. I... I've only seen... I've only shown this to my Patreon members. My Patreon members got to see this early. And they, they got, like, the, the exclusive first look at this. And, um, they were really into it. So that gave me the, the okay to fully plan this reveal out for Sonic Revolution. Yes, I, I, I tend to break the fourth wall. I don't know if that's a flaw or, or a quirk. I thought you were going to turn into a me again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, for those that don't know, uh, Thursday, last Thursday, I did a Metopia stream and I did that whole like, Oh no, it's glitching out, what's happening? And then I became a me. For the entire stream. <laughs> as just a, as a, a cute little, a little joke. A little haha, a little funny haha. It's just a, a, fu a funny, funny haha -ha joke. Here, um, since you guys are interested, let, let's take a closer look at, at what we're working with here. Okay, all right. So, like, the full body is right here. Let's see. Yep, um, let me zoom out. Ah, I'm going away! I'm so far away now, and I'm floating! <laughs> All right, let, let's uh, let's bring bring it back in. Cool. Okay, let me bring bring myself back in here. Hello. All right, and we will move around so you guys can take a look. Take a take a look at all my details here. Wow, so detailed, so cute. There's my my fanny pack, my two tails. They're very bouncy. Um, and there's the logo on the back of my jacket. So this is, this is what people got to see before, beforehand. I, I posted a little, a little gif gif, however you want to pronounce it, of, of me going like, <gasps> and, and not, I'm almost turning around, but then it doesn't happen. But now you guys can, can get to see the full thing in action. Hooray! Vibe check. Vibe check. <laughs> so I think we can all expect to see some VR chat shenanigans from you and Courtney. Probably. In the future, I definitely want to play VR chat. I don't have a headset, though. So I can't, uh, I can't do all this. Because the, the tracker that I am using for my hands, it's just on my chest, like, right here. It's, it's like, right here. Um, and it's it can pick up my hands okay, but it doesn't work with VR chat unless I have a headset. So in order to, like, get the full experience in VR chat, I definitely need a headset, which is expensive. So I'm going to need to save up for that. <laughs> What is that symbol? It is the... Here! Uh... I'll, I'll turn myself around again so you can see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, it is the Eggman Industries logo with a big ol' X over it. Alright, I think... What time is it? Huh? Oh. I know I've got some extra time, but I am getting a little tired, so I think I'm going to end in maybe like five more minutes. So does anybody have any more questions before I decide to leave? The floor is open.
How do you get your mouth to move every time you talk? It's a... It's a mixture of a webcam and microphone input. What is your favorite smoothie? Um, I'm really into... So I get a lot of, uh... I get a lot of Planet... Not Planet Smoothie. I get a lot of Tropical Smoothie. And my favorite there is the Avocolada. I'd say that's probably my favorite smoothie. That and a watermelon mojito smoothie. Favorite thing to receive as fan art? I'm not sure what that means, but I like any fan art that I receive. I think it's really, really sweet that people take the time to make fan art of me. I mean, you, you don't, you don't have to, you really don't have to, but it's really sweet when people do that. Thoughts on the new Sonic games coming out? Well, we don't know much about the, the, the one where the trailer was like only a minute long and it's just Sonic running through a forest, but Sonic Colors, Sonic Colors Ultimate looks really good and I'm, Thinking about buying that. So, yeah. This is a lot of fun. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Uh, my fingies. My fingies. <laughs> Will there ever be a canon reason for changing between the 3D and 2D models? Dimensional weirdness. That's the explanation. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Thoughts on Sonic Prime on Netflix. I would love to see more about Sonic Prime, but I am very excited. Very excited for that. I will take one more question, and then I think I'll be, I'll be done. Oh, you want to see drinking water while 3D? That's a that's a good good question. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what happens when I drink water in my 3D form. Well, a little underwhelming. It's it's not as it's not as crazy as when I'm in the live 2D form. Have you ever been interested in having your own theme song? Actually, that just happened recently. <laughs> um, Victor McKnight, if anybody knows Victor McKnight, uh, he created a theme for me that, that I play in the background of my streams. I'm gonna start doing that regularly. And it's so cute. It's on his channel right now. If you want to take a look, that's Victor McKnight. With, like, Sonic and the Black Knight. <laughs> All right, I think, I think, I, I think I'm going to end it right here. Thank you everyone for, for hanging out with me today. Thank you for coming to my panel. Just to, I guess, usually, I, I'm guessing a lot of people just wanted to see this, but I'm glad the people that did want to see this, uh, stuck around long enough and, uh, stuck through all of my ramblings and the, the new people that, that came here and saw me. I, I hope you guys stick around and follow me on YouTube. It's uh youtube.com slash user slash project SNT. Um, I don't know why I made it a song, but I'm really happy that everybody enjoyed this, <laughs> this whole thing. I, I've been planning this for so long and I'm, I'm really happy that people are enjoying what they see. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, enjoy the rest of Sonic Revolution. I definitely will be. I'll I'll be hanging around for a little while longer. Um, and yeah. Uh, I guess I guess I'll I guess I'll end the panel. I only I only took up just a little bit more time, but yeah. I I that's it. All right. Uh, yeah. 
I, I'm I'm good now. If if you want to take it away, take it away. Okay, I will take it away. Thank you very much, uh, Project SNT. Thank you so much uh, for having uh, for being at uh, Sonic Revolution today. Uh, okay, guys, uh, coming up in just under an hour, we're going to have the art contest results, and we'll be closing out the live stream. Uh, but the meet and greets will still be going on the rest of the day. So please stay tuned and we'll be back in 50 minutes. Thank you.